Hello, my name is Amy Sturkey. I am a pediatric physical therapist. I'm here with my co-instructors. This is Kai and he is four years old. This is Marcus, he is 13 years old and Dimitri who's 16 years old. We're working on stepping and throwing today. This is a tricky skill for a four year old. So this is, you're gonna see us really working through it. When I am working on this, when a client is tricky, I use carpet squares as you've seen here. I have two to stand on and one to step to. So um, since this is tricky for him, he could really use a bigger target. I don't wanna go any closer today, but in the clinic, I would find something bigger for him to throw the target to. So what we're gonna do, my friend, is we're gonna take a step and throw the ball, okay? So first thing you have to do is step. Can I do a bottom throw? No, you cannot. I want you to take a step and throw. Step and throw. Oh. You forgot to throw, what happened? Ready? Uh, can I knock all of them down? Yeah, you can, but you have to hit them. You ready? We're gonna take a step. Yeah, I'll hit you. Uh-uh-uh. You're gonna take a step and throw. Let's go try. I got you. Ready? It's hard. It is hard. All right, you have to look down. You're gonna take a step and throw. Excellent job. Now work on underhand. Overhand step and throw comes earlier. And when you work on underhand, it's a lot harder for the kids. He doesn't have a great underhand throw yet, so this is gonna be really tricky for him. But we do basically the same thing. And a lot of times when kids are first learning how to do this, they wanna step with the same leg. You wanna make sure you're stepping with the opposite leg. He's right-handed, so he's stepping with his left leg. Oh, that's right, you ready, man? We're gonna go underhand. We're gonna step, step, and throw underhand. Whoops. Step and throw underhand. Good try. Right here, man. You're, right here. You almost pulled me down. I did. We're going to step and throw underhand. Mm -hmm. Good try. I'll do it again. One more time. And We're then. going to step and throw underhand. Yes, that's it. Um, as kids get better at this with a step and throw, I'll make, I try to make sure, for at first they start off kind of step and then throw or step and then throw. But as kids get better, I work on having them as they step, thank you, as they step, that their arm comes back as they step or their arm comes back as they, th as they step if it's over or underhand. The other thing I have them start doing is getting more rotation with their throw so they can get more power. So I often will have them point and then throw. I hope that's helpful and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.